We begin in West Africa, where Senegalese opposition leader Macky Sall has claimed victory on Monday in a hotly contested presidential election. An official result shows Sall leading incumbent President Abdullahi Word by a wide margin in the runoff election. Sall's declaration followed reports on state television that President Abdullahi Ward telephoned him late Sunday to concede the election and congratulate him on winning, ending Ward's controversial bid for a third term in office. Sall says the vote marks a new beginning for Senegal. Je serai le président de tous les Sénégalais. I will be a president of all Senegalese. The magnitude of this victory, that looks like a plebiscite, expresses the immense needs of populations. I will take every measure. Tonight begins a new era for Senegal. Supporters of Macky Sall jammed the streets of Dakar on Sunday night. To celebrate the opposition leader's win, Sall was one of 13 opposition candidates in the first round of the election, which President Ward won with 35% of the vote. The losing candidates then endorsed Macky Sall, who promised to reform the government and lower basic food costs. Officials with the African Union's Observer Mission told VOA the election was transparent and peaceful. The Senegalese Electoral Commission is expected to announce the official provisional results in a few days. Now, Senegal's ambassador to the U.S., Fatou Daniel Diané, says Senegal is known for being a peaceful, well-run democracy. Senegal is a country well known for democracy. We have fought long ago for democracy, and we think that we want to preserve the fact that we never had coup d'etat in our country, and we show democracy in action. Many things have been said, and many things have been written. But as Senegalese and as ambassador and as former minister, I can tell you that every Senegalese people value democracy, value the stability we had, because when we see around us and what is going on, I think that we have uh, the duty uh, to preserve this peace. And more now on 50-year-old Macky Sall. He's President Ward's former political protege. He served as mining minister, prime minister, and president of the National Assembly before having a falling out with Mr. Ward in late 2008 over his son, Karim Ward, being called to parliament to answer questions. For more uh, perspective on the latest developments in Senegal, we are joined in the studio by Edris Afal, a journalist uh, from uh, the Voice of America's uh, French to Africa and a native of Senegal. Welcome, Edris Atwin. Thank you for inviting me. First, tell me, uh, what is your reaction uh, given that uh, Abdullahi Ward seemed to have quickly considered defeat? Well, I think uh, he did not have any choice because when the result began to be published, the margin was wide, huge. We, it, till now, we don't have the official result, but what was being published was between 70% for Maki, 30 for Abdullah Iwad, 60 for Maki, 40 for Abdullah Iwad. So I think he did not have any choice. Essentially, uh, when he tried to run for a third, that controversial mandate, his only exit was to do so and quickly. And I think he did it. Yeah. And, and now some would actually say, why did he even have to uh, get to this point? Do you think he will, Mr. Ward, will be remembered for having quickly conceded, uh, conceded and preserved democracy, or he will be remembered for having tried to hang on to power? Uh, I think for, for what he did yesterday, I think it was a good thing to accept very clearly that he was defeated and called uh, Mr. Macky Sall. And besides that, I think what did a lot of good things in Senegal. He, he built roads, he built schools in every big uh, cities, and uh, he, he, built, he changed the face of the capital. The only thing people had been criticizing him is for his third mandate, and people were thinking it was the last trial to put his son in power. If you remember in 2008, Macky Sall, was thrown out the National Assembly because they called uh, to see how his son did manage the money of the, uh, uh, the organization of the Islamic Conference. Yes. So actually, uh, he goes out in a good way now. 
Well, I could say yes <laughs> for Senegalese democracy yeah. and for the Senegalese okay. people. We'll talk more about uh, Senegal in the coming days and look at uh, the legacy, not only uh, that Mr. Wad has left, but also that uh, the example that Senegal is giving to the rest of the continent Thank of you. Africa. Idris Afal, we appreciate your insights. Uh, well, thanks uh, to Idris Afal of Voice of America's French to Africa service for joining us today here on In Focus. <laughs>